Hi everyone, good evening, welcome. Hi Katia, welcome. Te, extra te extrañamos ayer Katia, hello. Nehemias, the same. Hi Jani, hello Ana, Marisela. Hi teacher. Welcome. Hello teacher. Hello Ana. How are you today Katia? Hi Marisela, hello. How are you? I'm doing well, and you? How are you? Fine, fine. Fine. ¿Ya te sientes bien? Me recuerdo que ayer mencionaste que no, no te sentías muy bien. Hoy sí. Sí, es que en medio me agarra mi dolor de cabeza por ratos. Mm. Pero ya hoy más tranquilo. Hoy sí. Ok, Marisela. I'm glad to hear that. And what about you, Anna? How are you? How are you, Anna? Good. Good. Did you work today? Trabajo ahora? Sí. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance really quick. So we start with Anna Funes. Present. Doris. Castaneda. Servicio completo. Hijo. Then we have Iris. Iris. Oh, okay, thank you, Mauricio. Jennifer Marcela. Jose Adonai. Gracias, mi amor. Uh, then Jose Mario. Katia. Katia Gabriela. Thank you. Marisela del Carmen. Mauricio ya dijo presente. Ok, Mauricio. Mirna, Mirna Herrera. Present. Thank you. Presente. Minet, Minet Rivera. Present. Thank you, Nehemías Regalo. Present. Thank you, Nelson, Nelson Guevara. And then Vladimir, Vladimir Rodas. And Yanira Cepeda. Present. Okay, thank you, Jen. So, guys, yesterday we studied how to use there is and there are. That is what we studied yesterday. But today we will practice it. Vamos a practicar un poquito lo que trabajamos ayer. There is, there are. Ya que ayer algunos tuvieron problemas de conexión o para responder algunas dudas, vamos a comenzar con eso. With there is and there are. I'm going to share with you the whiteboard. <clears throat> Just give me one moment. Preciosa. Puedes prestar un vaso. Sí. Okay, give me one second. So we have two, right? We have there is and there are. Ambos significan lo mismo, pero los utilizamos, los utilizamos de distintas maneras. O sea, there is, y en el otro lado tenemos there are. Okay, so Jani, when do we use there is? ¿Cuándo utilizamos there is? When do we use there is? Um, activate your microphone, Jani. The microphone. Um, oh, uh -huh. There is, is a singular. Ajá, uh -huh, with singular, singular. Uh -huh. Now, yes. O sea que lo podemos tomar como hay. Eso significa cuando queremos hablar de la existencia de cosas, cuántas cosas hay. Si solo vamos a hablar de una, tenemos que utilizar there is. There is. If you have two or more, we use there are. Cuando ya hay there. dos o más, we have to use there are. So we will do this little this little exercise with plural nouns. Vamos a hablar de la existencia de las cosas que hay en su cuarto. Okay, usen there is, 
si es uno, and there are if you have more than, if you have two or more. Ahora recuerden que si no hay, si ustedes quieren hacerlo negativo, solo necesitan agregar not. Y con eso ya se convierte en negativo. There are not. Uh -huh. Esa es la forma uh -huh. negativa. There are not. There is not or the contraction. There isn't. There uh -huh. aren't. That is the contraction. Okay, so let's talk about your room. Tell me things that you have in your room. Like four sentences. So that way I can I, I can know a little bit about your room. I'm, I'm going to start. There is one person inside the room. That's me. <laughs> I'm the only one here. There is one laptop. There is one bottle of water. There are two balls on my desk. And there is one tablet, or there is a tablet inside my bedroom. Who is ready? Who is next? Five things using there is or there are. They can be negative if, they, if you don't have them inside the room. You can use a negative form. Hi, Minette, how are you? Hoy no está lloviendo. No, hoy no. Oh, hoy no. <laughs> ok. No. Llovió temprano hoy. Ya, ya pasó la lluvia. Sí. Ok, Minette, welcome. Ese es un pequeño review de lo que estuvimos estudiando ayer. There is, there mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. Sería como, there are a lot of bag. Mm -hmm. Inside your room. Que hay varios, como uh -huh. carteras, como uh -huh. mochilas. Carteras. Ah, ok. Puedes decir purses, que son como Purse. las de mujer. Uh -huh. Purses. Ok, who else is ready? Mauricio, ready? Ready. Okay, tell us. Uh, there is a black TV mm -hmm. in my room. Cool. There are two LED lights. Mm -hmm. There is a air conditioner. Ah, cool. There are two laptops. Two laptops. Okay. There are five. <laughs> Par de zapatos, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, Perdón. Pairs, pairs Perdón. of shoes. I'm going to pairs. send it in the chat mm -hmm. so you can see it. Pairs, pairs of shoes. Shoe. Thank you, Mauricio. The sentences are correct. Let's see, Jani, what about you? Do you have the sentences? Um, um, there is mm -hmm. there is a window there is a window of, mm -hmm. outside my house uh -huh. uh, they are they are they are my door There are how many My doors? ¿Cuántas puertas? Door, dos, two. Two doors. Two. There are two doors. Mm -hmm. Two door on side. On side. Outside. Okay. okay. On side. Um, there are in. There are in. Mm, there are in no there are in my dogs there aren't dogs 
Dogs. Perros. There are... dogs. Yes. Ajá. There are in my dogs outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jani, thank you for red. Katia, do you want to try? Okay. Um, they they use a com computer. 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 Mm -hmm. They use a bed. They mm -hmm. are pen. They are two pillow. Mm -hmm. They is a desk. There is a desk. Uh -huh. A desk. They are a lot coins. Of coins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They there. There is a cup. A cup. A cup. Okay. Like a cup of coffee. Sí. Ajá. Y they are two bags. Two bags. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, Katia. Thank you. Nehemías, can you continue? There is a box. Uh -huh. There is a bed. Mm -hmm. There is one cellular. Like uh, a, a cell phone. Cell phone. Uh -huh. yes. There are two pillows. Uh, there are uh, three spotlight. There is not one table. There is not one TV. There is no... There, uh -huh. Okay, correct. Thank you, Naomi. Yes. Okay. Doris, can you continue? Uh, there is a desk. Mm -hmm. There is a clock. Mm -hmm. There is a window. Mm -hmm. There are decorative paintings. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is a coach. A uh, coach inside the, the room or in the house? In the room. In the room, you have a coach. Okay, that's cool. Okay, Doris, <laughs> correct. Okay, Adonai, can you continue? Tell me things you have inside your bedroom. Uh, good night. Good night, Adonai. There is a sofa. Mm -hmm. There, there is a pair of sandals. Sandals. Uh -huh. Sandals. Sandals. Uh, Pero son tuyas. Uh, son como yes. chancletas. Ah, uh, okay. Chancletas. Flip flops. ¿Cómo? Flip flops. Esas son como nuestras chancletas. Sandals son como sandalias. Ah, para mojar. Ajá, ajá. Así que flip-flops. There, uh, <laughs> there are four pens. There, uh, there is a laptop. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a book. There is a pen. Um, that's okay, it. okay, Adonai, correct. Let's see, Mario, can you try, please? Tell us some things you have inside your room. Uh, in my office. <laughs> ah, okay. There is one computer in my office. Mm -hmm. There is no TV in my workplace. Mm -hmm. There are two backpack wipes. There are not three outfits in my workplace. Mm -hmm. There is one mouse in my table. 
Ok, del, de la computadora, right? Ajá, right. ok. Ok, thank you, Mario. And then, Maricela. Continue, Maricela. Hi, teacher. Um, there is a bag. Maricela, Maricela, send them in the chat. Se oye bastante interferencia, Maricela. No sé si está lloviendo en este momento, pero se oye raro. Send them in the Se chat. Acaba de venir la lluvia. Okay. Estás en el chat porque casi no se entiende. Ok. Eh, Ana, Ana, your sentences. There is a wardrobe. Mm -hmm. There are beds. There is a chalk rack. There is a TV. Can you repeat the first one? Puedes repetir la primera, please. There is a wardrobe. What is that? The wardrobe. Está hablando de su, su como closet. Sí. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. The next one. There are beds. ¿Cuántas camas hay? Three. Three. Ah, ok. There are, there are beds. Ah, pues sí. Ok, Ana. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. So, hello, Nelson. Hi, Marcela. Mirna. Welcome. We were practicing. We were practicing there is and there are. Estábamos practicando un poquito el tema que vimos ayer, antes que vinieran. So, that is what we were doing. But we will continue. I'm going to share with you the book. We continue here. And we will start with Marcela. Okay, Marcela. You have to ask a partner where he or she works and the address. Can you ask Mirna, please? Puedes hacerle la pregunta. Tú quieres saber dónde ella trabaja y cuál es la dirección. How would you say that in English, Marcela? A Mirna. Uh, uh -huh. Where do you work? Mm -hmm. And then you ask question number two. Mirna, where Hola. do you work? I am... I work, work? In, I work in Portland. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now question number two, Marcia. Mirna, what is the address? What is the address? Uh -huh. My address is in Avenida uh, Los Reyes, post one. Mm -hmm. That's it. Solo es eso, Mirna. Sí. Ah, ok. Ok. Now, Mirna. Avenue. 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 Los Reyes. Avenue. Los Reyes. Podría decir Kings. Oh, wow. Kings uh, Avenue. Kings yeah. Avenue. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mirna, thank you. Now ask Nelson the questions that that Marcela asked you. Ask Nelson. Hoy usted le va a preguntar a, a Nelson. A Nelson. Mm -hmm. Same question. Hello, Nelson. Hello. Uh, what do you work? Where? Uh, where do you work? Uh -huh. I I work in Promerica Bank. Mm -hmm. 
Now question number two. What do you address? What is? What is do you address? What is your address? Um, uh, in uh, Three Avenue. Mm -hmm. Three Avenue, Three Avenue, number, number three, Usulutan. Usulutan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mifna. Good question. And now, Nelson, please mm -hmm. ask, ask Katia. <laughs> Katia, what do you uh, where? what do you work? Where do where you do you work? work? Mm -hmm. I work in corporate. Mm -hmm. And now the other question is uh, what the others. What is what the is the other? Mm -hmm. it, it is located in Carretera Aquesartepec. Okay, okay, Katia, thank you. So, guys, we will work on an exercise. Vamos a hacer un, un, un ejercicio juntos y otro lo van a hacer en grupos. Here we have information about the employee. This class is about prepositions. Como ya les había mencionado en el, en el grupo, ahora vamos a estar hablando un poquito más de prepositions. No sé si les quedó tiempo de, de ver el video. Ese video les, les podría ayudar un poco más a entender lo que vamos a estudiar ahora. También les mandé una, una picture que también habla sobre prepositions. Ya vamos a, a llegar ahí. But in this moment, we will do this. I'm going to read this instruction. Les voy a leer la instrucción y luego vamos a, a trabajar en ella. It says, okay, this is the information about Mauricio Quintanilla. Office, main phone, 72. 039164 Workplace Arrows Technology Company Address on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue 853 Santa Cecilia San Salvador Job Position Software Designer Department Production The ID MQ 108359. Okay, so the question says, read again the employee's information and circle which of the alternate directions below is the correct one. Okay, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Aquí hay cuatro direcciones en el punto número tres. Son como direcciones o maneras alternativas de llegar a Arrows Technology Company. Here I have the map. El mapa es el que habíamos visto hace unos días, page 39, está en la página 39. Y ustedes tienen que leer la dirección, así como acá, y tienen que confirmar si esto es, es correcto. For example, it is located in front of the mall on First Avenue. It is located in front of the mall or of First Avenue. Eso es cierto o falso? True or false? Estamos hablando a, about this place, Arrow Company. False. Y dice true. It is true. Y Katia says false. <laughs> okay, entonces tienen que ver confirmar si esto es cierto o no es cierto, lo van a hacer en grupos. 
y luego vamos a ver si todos tenemos la misma información. Entonces, acuérdense, estamos hablando de Arrows Technology Company. Acá dice que está enfrente del mall, que este lugar está enfrente del mall. True or false? Is it in front of? Uh, no. no. Okay, no. Eso es lo que van a hacer. Van a leer cada una de las uh, direcciones y tienen que, cuando regresemos acá, confirmar. If this is true or false. Questions? Do you have a question? Les voy a dar unos five minutes, maybe. Five minutes with your group. And then when we come back, we check. Okay, just give me one moment. Um, okay, we will work in groups of three, three people. One group, we will have Nelson, Doris, and Maricela. Group number two, Katia, Mario, and Jani. Next, we will have Marcela, Mirna, and Nehemias. Group number four, we will have Ana, Adonai, Mauricio, and, and Minet. Okay, five minutes. Five minutes so you can figure it out. Hi, Iris. Welcome. 
Hi, teacher. Yo, hoy no hay nadie, solo tú. Oh. <laughs> Son mentiras. I'm just kidding. Están trabajando en una actividad. En unos dos minutos van a, a volver. <laughs> si tú okay. quieres, puedes trabajar en ella para mientras. It's about addresses. Es, está en el libro. You have to look for page 39 and page 45. They are doing this. They are, they, they are um, looking for this workplace, this company, Arrows Technology Company. On page 45, you have different um, locations and you have to say if this is true or false. For example, number one says that Arrows Company is located in front of the mall on First Avenue. Here you have Arrows Company. So is it true or false that it's located in front of the mall? What do you think? Is it in front of the mall? And First Avenue. Mm -hmm. In front of the mall. So that is what they are doing in, in groups. Están leyendo cada oración y tienen que decir si es verdadera o falsa. Basándose okay. en la dirección es Arrows Company, que está en el mapa. Si tú tienes okay. el libro, aunque igual ahorita los voy a traer de regreso. But that is what we are doing. That is what we are doing. Is. How are you? ¿Qué tal? Todo bien. Uh, I'm a little tired. Tired, really. Hoy ya okay. regresaste a trabajar. Ya estás sí. de vuelta. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Ah, okay. And you have a family, right? Tienes una familia también. Sí. Hay y cuidar. Hoy día es que me toca trabajar desde la casa. Es más complicado todavía. Ah, sí, hay más trabajo. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Espero que puedas descansar ahora lo suficiente. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Mauricio. Hi, Doris. How are you? Did you finish? Yep. Yes. ¿Qué tal estuvo el exercise? Easy. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> With the okay. help of my, of my classmate, mm -hmm. it's okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ayuda de mis compañeros. With the help of my classmates. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, okay. Well, now everyone is here. Okay. You have to send it in the chat. I'm going to select one person of each team. Voy a escoger a uno de cada grupo y van a decir en el chat si es true or false. Or you can say it. You can say it with your microphone activated. Okay. So. Doris, Mario, Marcela, Ana. Number two, true or false? It is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. True or false, Doris, Mario, Marcela, Ana? No. False. False? False. False, false, significa because... false, falso. Ah, uh, false. 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 Like this. False and true. True, correct. Or verdadero. Okay, so todos dicen que es false. Yes. Yes. Number two. Ajá, uh -huh. number two. No. Number two, false. Mm -hmm. false. false. Okay, correct. Good job. Okay, next one. Let's continue with number two. Number three, I'm sorry. Katia, Maricela, Mirna, and Adonai. True or false? It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and book board. True or false? True. Katia says true. Mirna. Adonai, what do you think? True. True. 
Okay, and you, Mirna? Ah, Mirna in the chat, okay. It is true, here it is. It's between the restaurant and book work, correct. And last one. It is located along Roosevelt Street next to the city hall and the park. Let's see Nelson, Gianni, Nehemias, and Mauricio. True or false? Along the Roosevelt Street next to the city hall and the park. False. 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 Okay. False. 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 Then, let's see, Gianni, Nelson. What do you think? Uh, you didn't activate the microphone. Nelson, do you hear me? Uh, in the chat, uh, folks. Ah, I'm sorry. Okay. I was not looking at the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Perfect. Good job. Thank you. So we will continue. We will practice prepositions. Vamos a estar practicando prepositions un poquito más. So I have... I have here just a presentation with um, the name of them. Just give me one moment. Teacher. Yes, Mauricio. La duda en, en la número dos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> este, según nosotros era, era verdad, es true. Number two. No sé, si, no sé si entendemos bien las coordenadas. Ah, ok. Let me go back there. It is located across. Across Let First me, Avenue. Behind the restaurant. the restaurant. And here Entonces, we have... Mm -hmm. Dígame, sorry. Usted se ubica en la First Avenue. Uh -huh. este, sí, First Avenue separa el restaurante con Arrow Company. ¿no? Uh -huh. Entonces, dice la, 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 la sentencia dice que Arrow Company está localizado cruzando la primera avenida y atrás de, del restaurante. Y según Como el día que mitad, estuviéramos acá. And we do this. Ajá. Entonces. Mm. Como que <ríe> no estuviera que, a, no a que lo opuesto, en... right? The opposite. Ajá, entonces. Mm. No mm -hmm. sé si está, hemos entendido yes. bien que es cruzando la primera avenida, cruzándose la calle desde el restaurante hasta la Arrow Company. Entonces, por eso te quiero like decir que era, era, era true. And you come here. You cross the avenue. And it will be behind. Nehemías. Es que depende de dónde esté parado, este, Tiche. No, es que no puede ser. Este, dice que es sobre la primera avenida, atrás del restaurante. Entonces, nosotros entendimos que la entrada del restaurante like estaba sobre la primera avenida. Ajá, entonces, enfrente de Arrow. Entonces, si decimos atrás del restaurante, estaría al otro lado, ahí, correcto. Ajá, ahí. Entonces, no está detrás del restaurante. It will be in front of. Ajá, como depende de cómo lo vean, porque si yo lo veo como que behind estuviera acá, behind de esta parte. Okay. Ajá. Por eso. Quizás no Pero, en un uh, restaurante. ¿no? <risa> ok, but we will, uh, we will bien, practice sí. them. Okay. Solo aplica si viene saliendo del mall. <risa> uh -huh. Ok. So, going back here, we, we are still talking about prepositions of place. But here you only have the list. You have the list. Y como quería que lo vieran en acción y con imágenes, por eso les mandé unos videos. Porque acá solo tengo el, eh, the name, the name of the preposition, but on the video, 
on the video, you can see it, you can apply it, and you can also, you also have pictures. Like I, I'm going to give you examples. I'll give you examples, we will practice them, but here you only have the name. Okay, so number one, we have by, next to, beside, and near. All of them are pretty, pretty similar. Todos esos prácticamente dan a entender lo mismo, por eso están bajo la misma línea. What do they mean? Not far away in distance. No están muy lejos en la distancia. Beside, next to, by. Por ejemplo, estos dos, next to and beside, es a la par. Pero near es cerca, entonces puede que esté a la par o puede que esté en un lugar cercano. By, lo mismo, es como a la par, a la par de all of them. Entonces, se pueden aplicar de la misma manera. Not far away in distance. Uh, then we have between, at the back of, turn right or turn left, go straight, across, among, opposite, in, in front of, under, below, and on. Y si ustedes tienen ahí su teléfono a la mano y pueden entrar al grupo, quisiera que, que vieran una vez más la, la última picture que les envié para que tengan una imagen visual de algunas de estas prepositions. I'll give you a few seconds. Les voy a dar unos segundos para que la puedan ver ahí en su teléfono. <coughs> the picture I, I sent. Okay, so then we continue. So I'll give you some examples. I have here my bottle. We're going to start with next to. Okay, so I can say my bottle of water is next to the bowl. Number two, between. The bottle of, uh, of water is between, between the bowls, between the bowls. Okay, at the back, at the back, the ball is at the back of me, of me. Or another one, I hang, I hang, my sweaters at the back of the door. Okay. Colgar, hang, that is what it means, colgar. I hang my sweaters at the back of the door. Or I hang my shoes, it could be another possibility at the back of the door. Turn right, turn left. Es como girar o virar, a la derecha o a la izquierda. When you are giving an instruction, cuando le estamos dando una dirección a alguien, you can say turn right or turn left. Go straight, recto, ir derecho. Bueno, no, eso es en... Eh, Mexicano, ¿verdad? Ir recto. So in, in our case. Across. Cruzando, cruzar. Among. Among is the same as between. Si ustedes vieron en el video. Among and between, los dos significan lo mismo. Pero among lo usamos cuando algo está en medio de tres o más cosas. As an example, I can say that 
My phone is among among two bowls and a bottle of water. Si algo está en medio, pero de dos, perdón, de tres o más cosas, se utiliza among. Si solo hay dos, like this, between. Pero ya si hay tres o más, ya se utiliza la palabra among. Opposite. Opposite. Opuesto. That is the meaning of opposite. In es el que estudiábamos ayer. In se recuerdan que es para cuando algo está dentro de otra cosa. En close space. In front of. The computer is in front. In front of me. Under. The ball is under the cell phone. Okay. In. And below, the same, abajo de. So I can say that the ball is below the phone. On es el mismo que estudiábamos ayer, que es para superficies, like this. The ball is on the tablet. Ok, vamos a, a practicar eso en los siguientes minutos. But is there something you would like to ask? No sé si algo quisieran preguntar o sobre el video. En el video habían más prepositions. Aunque también habían preposiciones de movimiento. But is there something you would like to ask? Mm -hmm. Doris, yes. Mm -hmm. Dos cosas. Una en el video, este, hay... I dos expresiones que son similares, como por ejemplo uh -huh. es, ay, on, que es uh -huh. como sobre, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y on top of, encima de. Ah, ajá. Ok, good question. La diferencia, Doris, es el movimiento. Una describe el movimiento y otra describe solo el lugar donde está. Por ejemplo, si yo utilizo... On, esa solo estoy describiendo el lugar. Like this. Uh -huh. The ball is on. On the tablet. Es el lugar. Pero algo si está en movimiento puede utilizar on top of. The birds. The birds. Las, las palomas. The birds are on top of the house. Porque uh -huh. se mueven. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí utilizamos on top of. Si sí, hay uh -huh. movimiento. Y lo, lo, lo otro que es este at the back, uh -huh. no, no, me queda, no me queda muy claro. At the back of. Um, es como en la parte de atrás, at the back, es como behind. Lo mismo que behind, uh -huh. que significa atrás. Pero con este, Doris, usted tiene que mencionar el objeto, por ejemplo, es como atrás de, at the back of me. Si yo tengo algo atrás, con off tengo que ser más específica, like this. Uh, the wall is at the back of me. O sea que con at the back of tiene que mencionar Atrás del qué? At the back of me, at the back of the car. Mm. Uh -huh. No yes. sé si. Uh, one moment, Mauricio. Si quieres, deme un ejemplo, Doris. Solo quiero ver si, si ya comprendió cómo se utiliza. O sea, de que at the back tiene que, que especificar detrás de, de qué uh -huh. está el objeto. Uh -huh. Y eh, en behind, behind. behind detrás, behind. pero solo por si me, si me preguntan dónde está tal cosa, behind, ahí detrás, ¿verdad? Pero no digo el, 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 mm. a eso o se sea, refiere. Uh, behind es como viéndolo desde una superficie hacia abajo, hacia abajo, porque aquí at the back puede ser así como atrás de mí, pero mm. el otro behind es abajo y este es atrás. Mm. Atrás. 
uh, Doris. Uh -huh. Atrás de y el otro es abajo de. Behind, behind. Pero depende del contexto. Porque también puede ser como detrás de. Así uh -huh. que tal vez la diferencia podría decirle que es que at the back of se utiliza solo en ese contexto, que es solo para atrás de. Pero uh -huh. behind podría tener, tener dos significados. Puede utilizarlo como atrás de o abajo de. Uh -huh. Behind de. O sea que at the back es como más específico. Uh -huh. Y está también under. Under también es abajo de. Uh -huh. Abajo, under the table. Pero sí, at the back of es detrás de. Can you try to think about examples? Puede, puede pensar en unos ejemplos y me los manda en el chat, Doris. Ok, in the meantime, Nehemías. Teacher. Eh, yo iba a consultar eh, la diferencia entre under y below, que ah, ambos significan <risas> debajo, bajo. Ajá, under and below. Uh -huh. Ok, como le mencionaba Doris, son prácticamente lo, lo mismo. Eh, la diferencia más, quizás, más fuerte o pronunciada podría ser el, el movimiento. Por ejemplo, under es una, una preposición de place y below es una preposición de, de movimiento. Place y esta below, el movimiento, movement. Entonces, si algo se mueve, utilice below. Pero si está solo hablando o describiendo la position, utilice under. Like, the shoes are under, are under the bed. Pero si ya fuera algo que se mueve, Uh, the cars are, no, the end, como que las hormigas. There are ends below the, the bed. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Jani, did you have a question? Sí, referente a la misma pregunta de Dori. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the, at the back. Y, y para, eh, dice que es atrás de, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Mi, solo como ejemplo, quisiera saber si, si correspondiera a, 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 esa, a esa preposición por decir at the back the desk, desk, at the escritorio, back of the desk. 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 Eh, ¿Estaría como correcta bajo esa preposición de at the back? Uh, give me the full sentence. Puede hacer la oración completa. ¿Qué está okay. detrás de qué? Eh, del escritorio. O sea, como at the back es estar detrás como... Ajá, eh, pero el... She's, she's... O oh, yo, yo soy... I am... I am the back the dress. The dress. I am. Como yo, yo estoy detrás del escritorio. Pues, eh, ajá, por, sí, estaría podría, bien si usted está podría. detrás, detrás del escritorio. Uh -huh, ajá, uh -huh. como que está enfrente. Uh -huh, uh -huh, si lo ve desde esa manera, sí. Porque también podría decir que usted está in front, in front of the desk. Está enfrente. Ah, uh -huh. pero usted lo está viendo como que está atrás de, <ríe> atrás del uh -huh. desk. Ajá. Yeah. You can say, I am at the back of the desk. I am at the back. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. On the desk. Yes. Okay. But yes, under, under and below pretty much have the same meaning. Los podrían utilizar así inter, intercambiable. Así que pueden usar under or below. And there is no problem with those. Vamos a hacer un, un activity para practicarlos. Aquí van a moverse quizás un poquito. 
But before we start, do you want to ask other questions? No sé si quieren hacer alguna otra pregunta. No. Okay. Um, Marcela, Mirna, Minet, Ana, can you activate the camera, please? I need to see you. I'm going to give you a direction and you have to follow it. I'm going to use prepositions. Yo les voy a dar una indicación y depende de la preposición que esté utilizando, ustedes tienen que hacerlo. For example, put your notebook under the, the, the cell phone. Put a notebook under the cell phone. Lo que ustedes entienden, eso es lo que ustedes van a realizar. Put your notebook, your notebook under your cell phone. Just as an example. Okay, entonces yo les voy a dar directions y ustedes solo tienen que oírlas y tratar de seguirlas. Hagan de caso que es el de Simón dice. Yo les digo algo y ustedes tratan de, de escuchar y hacer. And I'm going to use prepositions, but just I will get them right now. Give me one moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a, el teléfono? No todos lo pueden utilizar, verdad? Porque está en, en la clase. Okay. Do you all have a this, uh, sorry, a notebook, notebook and, and pen or pencil. Si tienen eso a la mano, todos. Yes, okay. Okay, so put, put your notebook beside you. Put your notebook beside you. Put your notebook beside you. Beside you. Nelson, Tani. Put your notebook beside you. <laughs> what is beside? So recuerden que es beside. It's like next, next to. It Ana means par. next to, aha. Uh -huh. Put your notebook beside you. Uh, Mirna, Cerca. beside. Beside es, es como a la parte. Aha, uh -huh. Marisela, okay, yes. Marcela. Adonai, aha, uh -huh. okay, Adonai, yes. Yanni, Doris, Mauricio. Did you understand? Ah, okay. All right, good. Okay, next. Next. Put your notebook next to a pen. Put your notebook next to a pen. Okay, Katia. Hi, it is. Yes. Marisela. No veo bien, Marisela. Ah, okay. Ajá. Let's see. Next to Doris, quizás así, porque, uh, ajá, ok, Jani, your notebook, next to a pen, ok, Mauricio, I, I can see it, ok, cool, yes, next, put something between, between your notebook and your pen, Put something between your notebook and your pen. Okay, it is. Thank you. Aha, Nehemias. Yes, Maricela. Minette. Okay, put something between your notebook and your pen. Okay. Then, Jani. Como va, Jani? Did you understand the, the instruction? The command? Ok. Yo pensé que era una cerveza, pero ya vi que es un petit. <risa> ok. <risa> Minet no veo bien. Sorry. <risa> I didn't understand, Minet. 
Thank you, Marcela. Uh -huh. That one is correct. Pero si quiere pongo la cerveza. Ah, también tiene. Ah, es como okay. estoy en el teléfono, no puedo Ajá, tener sí. las la dos cosas a la vez. Ah, ok, don't worry. Sí, a mí también me costó. Ok, next. One moment. Ok, put something above your head. Put something above your head. Ajá, Katia. Ok. Above your head, put something above your head. Ok, Mauricio. Ya se va, le va a caer todo ahí el jugo. Ok. Above, above your head. Ajá. Thank you, Marcela. Yes. Mirna. Above. Uh -huh. Ok, Doris. Thank you. You have good balance. Ajá, Minet. Hoy oh, sí, ahí logro ver el, el lapicero ahí al final. Thank you, Adonai. Mirna. This about. Above. Above. Ah, above. Above. Sorry. Above. Mirna, ¿se recuerda de ese? Yanni, above. Maris. Ajá, Maricela. Arriba. Ajá. Ok. Put something on your head. Put something on your head. Put something on your head. On your head. Put something on your head. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Jani, ¿cómo va? Arriba. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pobre, arriba. Prácticamente es, es lo mismo, ajá, es on your head. Es como arriba, ¿verdad? Sobre, uh -huh. sobre su sobre. cabeza. Ok, uh -huh. thank you, uh, Katia. I can see you. And Marcela, what is that? Es un recuerdo de 15 años. <laughs> yes, ok. Cool. Oh, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Ya, yeah, se me pasó un poquito la hora. Sorry, give me one second. Um, okay, Ana, Ana Funes. Thank you, Ana. Doris de Castaneda. Thank you. Iris Cañas. Present. Jennifer, thank you. Jennifer Marcela. Adonai. Adonai. Thank you. Presente. Thank you, Jose Mario. Jose Mario. Present. Thank you, Mario. Katia. Katia Gabriela. Present. Sí. Present. Maricela del Carmen. Mauricio. Present. Present. Thank you. Mirna. Mirna Herrera. Minette. Present. Thank you, Minette. Nehemías. Regalo. Present. Thank you, Nelson. Nelson Guevara. Present. Present. Vladimir Antonio. En Yanira. Yanira Cepeda. Present. Okay, thank you. So, guys, just to double check. Last reminder. Okay. <clears throat> Hay palabras que van a tener casi que el mismo significado, así como estas. By, next to, beside, and near. Las pueden aplicar en el mismo contexto. Beside and next to prácticamente significan a la par de. Near también podría ser a la par de porque está cerca del lugar. Puede ser a la par. So you can do it like that. Luego, solo para aclarar, under and below llevan el mismo significado. Lo pueden utilizar de la misma manera para decir abajo de, y no hay ningún problema. You can use under, o pueden utilizar below. At the back of, ese sí lo vamos a utilizar para decir atrás de, atrás de algo. Like, the, the background is at the back of me. Okay, pero under and below, las pueden intercambiar. That's fine. Okay, so we will continue practicing 
we will continue practicing this, but I'm going to use the book. We will go back to the book and we will continue here. Okay. Here you have, otra vez tenemos el mapa. Vamos a ver el mapa para lograr completar estas oraciones. We have to complete the conversation using a preposition. Lo vamos a hacer acá, juntos. Les voy a dejar este acá enfrente, pero tienen que, que ver también el mapa. Along. No sé si se recuerdan que era along. No. Es como a lo largo de. Along. So there you have along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, and I'm under. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, no sé si quieren que, porque no les puedo mostrar las dos cosas al mismo tiempo. No sé si quieren que deje este o les dejo acá este. Pero tienen que ver ambos. El I'll mapa. Give the map. Ok. So, I'll give you a moment y luego revisamos. But send them by chat, please. On a private message, send it by chat. All the answers. Una pregunta, ¿qué significa past? Al pasar. Al pasar. Gracias. You're welcome. Y se quitó el mapa. Ah, sorry. Ok, there you can see it. ¿Qué es, Mauricio? Existe, eh, existe la preposición at en. Repeat. Si existe la preposición at en. At the end. Sí. Or at the end, yes. Es como al final de at the end of. And then you mention the place.
Yes. In one minute, we are going to check them. Check them together. In one minute. Okay, um, we will check them together. I'm going to change the, the page. Okay, so we're going to start with number one. Anna, the Sport Palace is, here you have the Sport Palace, and the other one is the bank. What preposition can you use? From, from. Anna, I don't hear you. Yeah, hola. Uh -huh. Number one, Anna, what do you have? Lo leo todo. Mm -hmm. The sport palace is next to the bank. Next to the bank. Okay, thank you. Mm, Katia, you say the same, right? Next to. Marcela, in front of. Adonai, behind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ok, so we have different perceptions. Siento que tienen como distintos puntos de vista en cómo miran el, el mapa. Oh, there could be otro. So, here. Mm, I wouldn't use next to because there, there is a street that is like separating, separating the places. Mm, siento que next to Tendrían que estar como, bueno, pero sí está dado así. Ok, so yes, next to could be a possibility, next to, in or also of. in front of, si lo vemos desde el punto de vista que están enfrente de, si fuera que la entrada está acá, it could be in front of, and behind, podría ser desde otra percepción, so, ok, we will we will check them like, okay. Number two, can you help us with that one, Mirna? It's uh, the city hall is between the church and book war. The city hall is between the church and book war. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. So yes, we have it here between. Uh, correct. Mirna, can you continue with number three? The restaurant. Mirna is not here. Doris, do you want to try? Oh, this restaurant is on First Avenue. On First Avenue. Let's check. The restaurant is on, on First Avenue. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Doris. Then let's continue with number four. Do you want to try, Nelson? Number four. Uh, 
Okay, I pull the chart is up. The chart in the city hall. Sorry, the city hall. What proposition? Um, um, what? Tengo consulta. Yo uh -huh. había hecho, había puesto la, la tres, la tres, la tres, había puesto a Alon. Será. En la tres. Uh -huh. The restaurant is alone. Se había puesto sobre. O sea, toda mm, la, sí, la, como Fear a lo Avenue. largo. A mm, lo largo, largo de, de la avenida. Uh -huh. Sí, yes, you can use that one. And the maybe four. En la cuatro sería in front, dicho. Yes, Nelson, do you have the same, the same uh, answer? Four, answer. Four. no four. Uh -huh. um, no, esta no la había terminado. Solo la no. cuatro, esa no. no la había terminado. Okay. Well, yes, it is in front of. In front of is the, the best option. The church. the church and the city are in front, in front of, of the park. And it could be another one, a different possibility, depending on the way you see it. Tal vez podría aplicar otra, depende de tal vez. Sí, como no teníamos un punto de partida definido. A la par. También. No, a la par no. Next to, porque está en frente, en front of. Mm -hmm. Ok, well, let's, let's continue. Now we will continue with this. You have to think about one person and you have to complete the information about one, one person that you know. It says employees information. You have to give his name, the phone number, the workplace, job position, department, the address, and the ID. You have to complete that. Complete the information about an employee. Point number six. Y si lo pueden hacer digital y luego mostrarlo a la clase, lo podemos hacer así. Y si no, lo, lo podemos leer. Or you can send it in the chat. In the chat too.
Teacher, lo puede actualizar, por favor. No veo. I'm going to, to remove it and show it to you again, again, display it. Maybe that helps. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. Let me know when you are ready, please. You can read it. Some of you can, can read it for the class. Okay. You're ready, Maurice. Yes, okay, ready. okay, go ahead. Employees in the information name, Flor de Maria, office main phone, 2200-9945. Workplace, multi technology, SASB, job position, assistant manager, department, operation department, address. Los Héroes los Héroes Boulevard and Los Andes Avenue number two nine five six ID zero seven six eight nine forty one. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. Thank you. Thank you. Is correct. Who else is ready? Thank you. Is there somebody else ready? Iris, are you ready? Not the chair. No, okay. Um, Jani, okay. Jani, solo que tenía que ser de alguien más. About somebody else, Jani. Y... Um, El departamento, el, el job position. No sé si puede pensar en un English term, en, en cómo decirlo en inglés. El trabajo, el nombre, sí lo puede dejar así. Pero la posición y el departamento sí puede ponerlo en, en English. Let's see, Mirna, can you read yours, please? Hola, que se lo lea, Mirna. Ajá, uh -huh, please. Vaya, dice, name, Gerson Hernández. Mm -hmm. eh, name, phone, phone office. Mm -hmm. Two, three, one, six, seven, one, four, zero. Mm -hmm. Workplace, corporate. Mm -hmm. oh, post job. Job post position. Position. Mm -hmm. uh, assistant. Assistant. Department. Uh, department. Human resource. The address. Uh, hit Y2. Highway. Hit Highway. Ajá. Uh -huh. Highway. Highway to Quesaltepec. To Quesaltepec, okay. And the ID, Mirna. Eso no lo puse. <laughs> okay. All right. That's all right. Nemias, are you ready? Thank you, Mirna. Yes. Eh, Puedo compartirla. Mm -hmm, please. Pantalla. Okay, name exceeds claros. Office, May form uh, 2304 mm -hmm. uh, 24. Mm -hmm. Workplace, uh, cassette 
the RL, job position manager, department manager, uh, management, management, yes, management, address, parcelation El Castaño, four and five, kilometer uh, 31 and, and a half, half. Mm -hmm. and a half, Pan American Highway, San Juan Opico, La Libertad. ID eh, 12. Eh, 11. 11, perdón. Mm -hmm. 11, 25. Six. 26. 26. 26. ¿Y ese nombre es real o es inventado? Exide. No, es real. Really. Y yes. también el apellido. Sí. También. Nunca lo había escuchado, Exides. Sí, es real. Uh -huh. ah, ok, ok, thank you. And let's see, we still have time to listen to another one. Who else would like to share it? A volunteer who wants to read. Okay, it is sure. in the chat. Yes, Adonai. Había que escribirlo en el chat. You have different possibilities. Podían escribirlo, uh -huh. That was one option. Porque no vamos a poder escucharlos todos. But you can say it. Mm -hmm. Lo digo. Uh -huh. Please. Ah, okay. Uh, employees information, name, Leonardo DiCaprio, office, main phone. 23, 24, 25, 26. Mm -hmm. uh, workplace, camisita suave. Uh, job position, um, mm -hmm. production supervisor. Mm -hmm. Department uh, production. Address, kilometer 24, highway to Quesaltepeque, sitio en línea. Aid, and is ID zero, zero. ID ID mm -hmm. zero, zero, 007. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, guys, you can the others you can send it by chat. Pueden enviarlo en el chat. Lo voy a leer. Do you remember the map? Se recuerdan el mapa que habían hecho que les dije de que lo, lo íbamos a utilizar después. Okay, so we will use it right now. Vamos a tratar de utilizar el mapa in this way. Ok. Hay dos, dos ejercicios que vamos a hacer. Mm, creo que antes que hagamos ese, vamos a hacer eso. Ok, vamos a empezar con Marcela. Are you there, Marcela? Yes, okay, Marcela. Este es nuestro punto de salida, where you see the cross. Okay, estamos acá. And I want to go to the restaurant. Quiero ir al restaurante. You, you have to guide me. Tienes que darme la dirección. Este es el carro, the spotlight. Y tienes que hacerme llegar acá. You have to give me the direction. Sí. How would you say it? Um, no, no sé, dice. Okay, who would like to start? Who would like ¿Cómo? to start? ¿Quién quiere hacer Google Maps? Ah. Yeah, I mean. Estoy acá, estoy en the school. Me, teacher. You I want try. Okay. Good. I'm going to hear you and follow you. Okay. Uh, go strike for Barrio Street and across First Avenue. I turn left. Sorry, turn right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I turn I turn left. Uh -huh. uh, I was trying First Avenue and across 
Roosevelt Street. I'm here. Ah, está hasta la entrada, ok. <laughs> ok. So I stop and aha. Uh -huh. My restaurant is in front, in front of me. Ok, it is. Thank you. Let's check. Um, let's continue with. Ok, Mario. Ok, Mario. A different location. You're going to be Google Maps. I want to go here to the book board. What is the address? And we are here. Just, just activate the microphone. Perdón, estaba completando lo de... Ah, you're still completing that. Okay. Se me iba a borrar, me salí. Ah, sorry. Marisela, can you try? Se me puso en negro, no logro ver, teacher. Ah, okay, wait. No sé por qué pasará eso a veces. Que se pone así la pantalla. Okay, so we are here where you see the star. Uh -huh. One moment. Okay, we are here and we want to be in this place. Okay, how can I get there, Maricela? Sería uh, como, I go the cross second avenue. Um, I'm here. So what do I have to do? Then the school. Uh, I'm here. Uh -huh, in the school, but here. I'm on Barrios Street. On the Barrios Street? Cross the first avenue uh, para abajo, no sé. Ok, les, les voy a ayudar un poquito y luego vamos a probar. Para, okay. en este caso, podemos utilizar go, si ustedes quieren ir, ¿verdad? En alguna dirección. Si es recto, you can say go, go straight. Go straight. And turn. Este es para virar, turn. In this case, it will be turn right. Turn right. Ajá. Right. Uh -huh. La izquierda Para... o la derecha. Yes. Porque estoy acá, ¿verdad? Go straight and turn right on Second Avenue. Ah, you okay. can say continue straight. Si ustedes quieren decir que continúe recto. You can even say continue. Continue straight. Or two blocks. Blocks in English son cuadras. Continue straight for two blocks. Turn right. And you are going to see the book board in front of the city hall. That's, that's mm -hmm. an idea. Okay, pero puedes utilizar go straight, turn right, turn left. Entonces, ya... así como si está ahorita sería go straight mm -hmm. and turn, turn, and turn. right. Uh -huh. so here second is avenue and yes. to continue. Continue sería straight. Como continue straight y cross turn. ¿Cómo se llama? Cross turn. No. Turn. Turn right. Turn right. Mm -hmm. Y ahí después sería como between City Hall in Book World. The Book World is in front of the City Hall. Ah, okay. And we are here. Okay. okay. Thank you, Maricela. Let's try with Minette. Okay, Minette. We're going to continue with you. Okay, so, but in your case, Minette, we are here. We are at the bank and we want to get to the restaurant. 
How can I get there, Minette? Okay. I'm here. Este sería to write one block. Uh, um, Como sería hacia abajo, no sé. Uh, ab es que no, es porque si I'm salgo de, cool. ajá, como sería to right, ajá, turn right, ajá, and to right, go right. straight right. ahead, one block, ajá, so I'm here. And now, and to left, left, in front, restaurant. And uh -huh, the restaurant is in front, in front of the mall or in front of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Minette, thank you. Nehemias, did you have a comment? No sé si iba a decir algo, Nehemias. No? Okay, that is just to, to practice the way you will give the address, right? But, okay, so going back here, this is the, the last activity. <clears throat> the one you see here, we will use the map. Vamos a utilizar el mapa. The idea is that you have to, to draw the map about your workplace. Tienen que dibujar su, su lugar donde trabajan y con los lugares de el, el alrededor. And it says that you have to write sentences about the places around your workplace. So imagine, imagine that I have, okay, I want to use in front, in front of, in front of. Tengo que decir que estaría enfrente del lugar donde trabajo. I can say a restaurant is in front of um, in front of bam 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 asumiendo que trabajo ahí entonces tienen que hablar de los lugares que están cerca de su de su workplace y tienen que ser in front of across across the street, under, you can use different prepositions. Entonces el mapa me va a servir a mí para, para ver si han utilizado bien las prepositions. No sé si me, me doy a entender lo que, cómo funciona esta activity. Or do you have a question? ¿Tienen alguna duda? ¿No? ¿Ok? Entonces es un mapa donde está su lugar donde trabajan y los lugares que están alrededor de él. Si hay un banco, si hay una panadería y luego dan direcciones. Like, the bakery is in front of my company. And you can share your map.
Okay, is there anybody ready? If it's possible to get an agregarlo, sí, you can do it. Mm -hmm. But mainly, solo, for example, mm -hmm. eh, ha, the honeyway, como cruzando la calle, está un comedor. Ajá. Cross the honeyway and dining rooms, dinner rooms. Así sería. Across. Across. ¿Cómo se llama el lugar? Okay. El, la compañía. Corporín. Okay, so you can say that across, across the street, there is a dining, there is a dining Ah, room. there is a diner. Ajá, uh -huh. or eh, a restaurant. Y así como está enfrente, pero cruzándose la calle hay viveros. ¿Cómo sería? Sería, there is a nurse. Nurse here, creo que se vi que there are nursing mm -hmm. in front ah, of the are mm -hmm. porque hay varios y ahí estás mezclando I, ya ambos. They, there are nurses in front the corporate así in estaría front bien. Of. In, in front in front of, of Yes. Y así como eh, no a la par, sino que como dos casas después está otro comedor, sería como near. Mm -hmm. There are, there are, there is, perdón, there is near um, dinner there room. There is a, a dinner room near. Near ah, there is a near dinner room. There is a dinner room or a restaurant in front. In front of. So, mm -hmm. In the front of. Correct. Yeah, so yes. eso se me okay. Okay. Thank you. Marcela is from America. Thank you. It's like between Bank of Buscatlan and Bank of Liquor. Financial Center is in front of... And, and Marcela, the Financial Center that you mentioned is inside, inside the, inside the bank. Or is another Teacher, company? The bank is inside a Financial Center and Financial Center oh. is, is inside mm. of Plaza Mundo. Ah, okay. And the financial center is in front of you. You sent a picture, right? Creo que enviaste una picture la vez pasada. Ah. Uh, o oh, no. No le iba a compartir pantalla, pero. Ah, ya no okay. Está. Ajá. Y no lo tienes la... ahorita. Ah, no está ahí. No. Okay. All right. Entonces. Mmm... Mañana o el viernes, si no me equivoco, podemos completar la activity para que puedas mostrarlo y puedas, pueda verlo. So the way you can, okay. you did it. Guys, is there anybody ready? Hay alguien que ya está listo con el mapa y, y las sentences. Adonai. Mm, it's a, I want to try. Okay, please. Where is the, the map? Ah, okay. Okay, <laughs> I see it. Sí, claro. You can see it. Aha. Uh -huh. Just one moment. Jani tenía una pregunta. No, teacher, es que me fui por un momento, ah, se me el... fue la luz. Sí, sí, vi sus mensajes. Okay, Jani. Sí. Don't worry. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh. Donai, we can see you. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, number one in front of a uh, nursery garden across to highway P 
Quesaltepec en Highway Desvío de Opico. Um, between Cubo Government and Nursery Garden. Next to Setagas Company. Along the highway to Quesaltepec. Can you repeat the sentence that you said between? Uh, between Cubo Government and Nursery Garden. Ah, okay. You can say Corporinis. Corporinis between. Corporinis between. Aha, uh -huh. Cubo and, and Nursery. Cubo Government and Nursery Garden. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Adonai. Very good job. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because of the time, I think we have to continue tomorrow. Please save it. Por favor, guarden sus notas si las vamos a utilizar. Solo voy a revisar bien mi programa, si es mañana o el, o el uh, uh, Friday, sorry. <laughs> Para que terminen de enviarme sus mapas con sus sentences. Okay, the, the last thing I have here is another tongue twister. Uh, the idea is that we practice fluency. So I'm going to read it first and then you're going to try to, to do it. So it says, a big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. I'll repeat, a big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Okay, so we will start with Mauricio. Mauricio, can you say the tongue twister fast? Si puede decir el tongue twister, fast. Big bug beat the little beetle at the little beetle. Beat the big bug back. Can you say it faster? Puede ser lo más rápido. Big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Aha, uh -huh. okay, that's better. Thank you. Can you continue, Doris? Can you say that tongue twister fast? A big bug beat the little beetle, but what the little beetle beat the big bug book back. Okay, <laughs> faster. Second round, faster, Doris. Un poquito más rápido. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the big little beetle beat the big bug back. Okay, uh -huh. that is faster. Thank you, Doris. Okay, Katia, continue, please. Mm, a big bug beat the little beetle, beetle. Mm -hmm. beetle but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Faster. One more time, Katia. Faster. A big bug beat the beetle, beetle but the beetle, beetle mm -hmm. beat the big bug back. Okay. All right. Thank you, Katia. Let's continue with Mirna. Mirna, can you say it, please? A big book, big the little, big book, the little big, big the big book pack. Mm -hmm. Faster. A big book, bag, big the little, big book, the little big, big the big book pack. Okay, all right. Thank you, Mirna. Let's continue with Nelson. Can you say it, please? Okay. A big bug beat the little beetle, beat the little beetle, beat the big book back. Faster. Faster. A big bug beat the little beetle, beat the little beetle, beat the big book back. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you, Nelson. Now it is. 
A big bug beat the little beat. Oh my God, I got confused. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Okay, you're next. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the, the big bug back. Thank you. One more time. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the, the big bug back. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's difficult. Minette, continue, please. A Try big to bug say it beat fast. the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. One more time. <laughs> A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Minel. Maricela, you are next. Uh, a big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Mm -hmm. Now again, one more time. A big bug beat. The little beetle put the little beetle pick the big book back. Okay, good. Thank you. Adonai, continue. Mm -mm. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. One more time. <laughs> A big bug beat the little beetle, but the, the little beetle beat the big bug back. Okay, thank you, Adonai. Let's continue with Marcela. Continue, Marcela. A big bug beat the little beetle, with the little beetle, with the big bug back. One more time. <laughs> A big bug beat the little beetle, but the mm -hmm. little beetle beat the big bug back. Okay, thank you. Mm, then let's continue with Mario. Mario, continue. A big book beat the little beetle spot, the little bit beat the big book back. One more time. A, a big book beat the little beetle put the little beetle beat the big book back. Okay, thank you, Mario. Jani, Jani, continue, please. A big bug, big the little beetle, bug the little beetle, bug the guy, bug the bug. Okay, one more time. I bug, I big bug the little beetle, mm -hmm. bug the little beetle, big bug, big book bug. Okay, thank you, Nehemiah. <laughs> Do you want to try? Ah, the microphone. Okay, there you go. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Faster. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. Uh huh. Correct. And Anna, you are the last one. Then I'll take the attendance really quick. Are you there, Anna? A big okay. A big bug beat the little beetle beat the, the little beetle beat mm -hmm. the big boot bad bug. Thank you. One last time. A, a big bug beat the little beetle beat the little beetle beat the big bug back. Okay, thank you, Anna. Good job. It was a little bit difficult, confusing, but you made it. So, guys, I'll take the attendance really quick. So, we start with Anna, Anna Funes, Doris Present. Guevara. Thank you. Present. Thank you, Iris Cañas, and Jennifer Present. Marcela. Thank you. Present. Adonai, Jose Adonai, Present. Jose Mario, Katia. Present. Katia Gabriela, thank you. Maricela del Carmen, Mauricio Castaneda, thank you. Mirna Herrera, thank you, Mauricio. Minet, thank Present. you, Mirna. Nehemias Regalo, 
Nelson Reyes. Present. Present. Then uh, Vladimir Antonio and Jani. Janira Cepeda. Present. Katia, sí te mencioné, ¿verdad? Katia Hernández. Sí. Ok. Ok, guys. So now you are free to go. Uh, como les mencionaba ayer, si alguien quiere quedarse, ahorita ya no hay nadie uh, que falte, así que podemos repetir. Así que no sé si alguien quiere quedarse. Se puede quedar. Yo no me... Perdón. Mario, no se ha quedado todavía. Ok, no, entonces... No, pero hoy no, hoy no puedo. Mañana. Entonces sí, mañana, que mañana posiblemente. Ok. En, anybody else? Yes, Mario. Ah, Mauricio, sorry. Eh, recibí un, un, un mensajito hoy que íbamos mm. a, a llenar un documento. Ah, sí. Es la Eso encuesta. No, este no, el viernes. Juntos lo tenemos que hacer porque si lo hace antes hay que volverlo a hacer el, el viernes. Uh -huh. Aquí lo vamos a hacer a las 8 y 10. Ajá. Yes, Jenny. Richard, eh, eh, yo recibí también en WhatsApp una encuesta. Uh -huh. eh, pero yo le iba a hacer ahora porque yo como que entendí que era como para ya, pero no me quedó tiempo. Entonces es el viernes. Es el la viernes a las 8 y 10. Ajá, vamos a tener 20 minutos porque tiene unos códigos. Entonces tenemos uh -huh. que asegurarnos que esos códigos se introduzcan bien. Y tenemos que tener una prueba también que lo hicieron. Por si Zafor dice, no tengo este, esta encuesta, pues tenemos la prueba de que ustedes lo hicieron, pero tengo que darles datos ese día. Así que Entonces, el, no, no, nada, ¿verdad? no, okay. no lo hace. Okay. Hasta okay. el viernes a las 8 y 10. Please be okay. here early. Perfecto. Ok, guys. Well, sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Bye bye everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.